Bwana Yesu apewe sifa mtazamaji wangu na kusalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Majina yangu ni Bishop Gabriel Wisdom wa Shilo Worship Ministry Nairobi pale Ruaraka Constituency uh, Mother North Ward uh, tuko pale opposite Redvin Primary School. Na pale ndipo tunapeana injili ya Yesu Kristo na nakushika ugeni mara tena katika jina la Yesu Kristo unaweza tuangalisha hizi ndio namba zetu na Bwana atakubariki ningependa tukaombe tukaingia katika neno na Bwana wa amani atapata ukubariki sana katika jina la Yesu baba katika jina kule Yesu na kushukuru sababu ya nafasi hii mara tena kukusanyika na ndugu zetu jioni ya leo kuleta injili njema ya Yesu Kristo baba na kabidhi yao pendwa mbele zako siku na hapa kushiriki neno ya kwamba baraka zako zitakuwa pamoja na wao hii ufunuo umeachilia kwa muda huu ya kwamba itabariki mtu Asante Roho Mtakatifu na kukaribisha na karibisha nguvu zako na karibisha uwepo wako na karibisha neema yako na ni katika jina kuu la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na hata kushukuru mtu aseme pale nyumbani Amen 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 Haleluya basi karibu tena kwa jina kuu la Yesu Kristo Uh, tumekuwa tukiangazia mambo mengi na leo nitaangazia watu waine ambao unahitaji katika maisha yako kumbuka kwamba Mungu ameumba hii dunia watu ndio wanatawala na kila kitu unahitaji kiko katika mikono ya mtu I want you to know ile pesa unatafuta iko kwa account ya mtu na ile nyumba unataka ni mtu anajenga na ile chakula unataka ni mtu analima kwa hivyo maisha imeunganishwa na kuna watu ukiwakosa katika maisha yako maisha yako itakuwa ya kilio Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana mtu mmoja alisema ya kwamba kama kila kitu uko nacho ulinunua maisha yako ni mabaya kuna mahali ambapo unafaa ukule katika hesabu ya neema the grace of God na favor na hizi vitu ndio zina leta hawa watu katika maisha yetu bwana sifiwe sana na hawa watu wakipatikana katika maisha yako maisha yako inabandilika maisha yako inainuka kila mtu aliyeinuka aliinuliwa na watu kumbuka maandiko yanasema ya kwamba na ye Samueli akamuita Sauli na akamtia mafuta na Sauli akainuka akakuwa mfalme tena Samueli yule yule akaambua na Mungu aondoke na chupa ya mafuta aelekee kwa mtu mmoja anayeitwa Njeze na pale amutie mtu mmoja mafuta so, Daudi alikuwa kule msituni ametengwa na watu wao uh, watu wamemfinyelia anateseka kule msituni kulisha ngombe lakini huko ndiko alitolewa na akakuja akamwagilia mafuta na akainuka Bwana asifiwe sana. Aeli alikuwa mtumishi mkubwa wa Mungu lakini kwa kati moja alienda kwa anamuke Muzarafedhi na pale ndipo alienda kukula chakula. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana mtazamaji wangu. Hii ni kukwambia kwamba never write people off. Never write people off. Never write people off. Kuna watu ambao you need in life and these are the most important people you need in life. The others are fall into one of these categories of people. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana. Unahitaji watu katika maisha yako, kwa hivyo wacha kutreat watu vile ambavyo I fire. Treat people well. Tunza watu. Ongelesha watu vizuri. Siku hizi watu wamekuwa wakisema ya kwamba salimu yanga soja, e, mtu uchelewa, salimu yanga mtu wa makaa, ngazu ishanga. Yaani yale ni matamshi tu ya kuambia mtu come back to your senses. You are not an island. You need people. Bwana sifa sana. <coughs> Basi matendo wa mitume kifungu cha tisa msauri wa 18 tunamwona mtumishi anaitwa Paul wakati ule anaitwa Saul na Saul amekutana na Mungu. Kuna watu wengi sababu they are spiritual they think they don't need people. Sababu they have become very spiritual wanapiga prayers kapoli ya kwa skapita lagada five hours. Wanaomba wamekuwa very spiritual. You, it's not that you don't need people you need men unahitaji watu. Paulo amekutana na Yesu amekuwa na encounter na Jesus na baada ya Paulo ku encounter Jesus eh, tunaona Paul, tunamwona ndugu yetu Paul. Uh, yesu akimwambia atafute mtu mmoja anaitwa Ananaya. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na wakati Paul alikutana na Yesu maandiko yanasema ya kwamba macho yake ilijaangiza. Kuna watu macho yenu yamejaangiza, uh, kuna watu maisha yenu yamejaangiza, umechanganyikiwa, uelewi kulia kushoto, uelewi juu chini. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yaani maisha yako uko kuangiza you are blind in life. Maandiko yanasema ya kwamba na Paul akaambiwa na Yesu aende atafute mtu mmoja anaitwa Ananaya. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba pale mstari wa kutamka kuanzia kumi, tisa kumi, kumi na moja, kumi na mbili maandiko yanasema Mungu akamtokea na naye akamwambia kwamba kuna mmoja anaitwa Saul na atakutumana 
Naenda umuambe ni memchakua awe chombo changu. Na maandiko nasema ya kwamba na naya kaenda kamuambea. Na alipo muambea maandiko nasema ya kwamba scales zilianguka kutoka kwa macho ya Paul. Kwa hivyo mtu wa kwanza unaitaji katika maisha. Kabla mtu mingine yote ni mtu ambaye atakaye kufungua macho. Kumbuka kama sio mzazi wako alie kufundisha kuile watu wanaishi. Kama ungekuwa naishi na nyani, ungekuwa na tabia za nyani. Kwa hivyo alikufungua macho na ka install a certain dimension of life in your life. Wana yesu, apewe sifa zote. Kwa hivyo uh, mtu anaitaji eye openness. Kuna watu wengi wako na kimbele mbele nyingi sana. Kuna watu wengi wa ambiliki. Kuna watu wanaitangwa kujua sana. Wale watu na maisha hayo imekwama. Uh, wale watu wawezi wakiketi chini kwa sikiza watu na wale watu wako katika hali mbaya kwa sababu kuna ngisa kuna ufala kila mtu wako na level fulani ya ufala bwana sifia sana yani wewe kuna ufala fulani uko nayo na hiyo ufala lazima ujipeane kwa high openness wa kufungue macho wa kutoa ufala uweze kuelewa na maisha bwana yesu apewe sifa sana kwa hivyo mtu number one unayehitaji in your life anaitwa the eye opener atakufungua macho kibiashara kuna mtu atakuongelesha ku, baada ya kuongea na yeye utaingia kwa biashara na biashara yako itakuwa na victory kuna mtu atakuongelesha na baada ya kuongelesha ndoa yako itasimama bwana sifia sana maandiko nasema ya kwamba na yeruthi akamuita akaitwa na naomi akamwambia kuja hapa haleluya haleluya akamwambia kuja hapa msichana yangu akamwambia na hii unga umetoa wapi hii hi, hi, mkate maana alikuja na kamkate jioni akamwambia huko nilikuwa naokota kuna jamaa mmoja anaitwa Mboazi na huyu jamaa anaitwa Mboazi ndiye alinipatia hata alisema nipewe maji na alisema niachiwe niokote ngano eh okay sawa sawa akamwambia enda ulale basi siku moja maandiko nasema akamuita akamwambia si nje Mboazi anaifinya ngano akamwambia ndio akamwambia ingia kwa bafu kuna watu unahitaji wa kushauri vivi una vivi unavaa unajua kuna watu wakina kimbele mbele mingi sana mkiongeleshwa msiki unaambua wacha kuvaa hivi uweze ukaolewa na ndio sasa umefika 35 na hakuna mtu anakuambia nga eh watu wote wala wanataka wanataka kugusagusa hawataki kuoa wewe kwa sababu vile una behave uko naongeza katika macho yako ujaelewa wanawake wala wanaoleangwa wanavaaji na ujajipeana katika eye opener akwambia my daughter wanaume watafuti wanawake ambao wanakaa na mna hii haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe sana mtazamaji pale nyumbani maandiko nasema mwambie ingia kwa bafu oga akaenda akaoga na imagine mtu mkubwa ambaye alikuwa anga ameolewa anaambiwa na mama mkwe enda ukaoge wewe leo mama mkwe wako akikwambia wende ukaoge utamuuliza umesikia nikinuka <laughs> haleluya utamuuliza umeona niko mchafu hiyo mambo itakuudhi sana lakini naongea kuhusu eye openers maandiko nasema kwamba alimwambia enda uoge na akaenda akaoga alipomaliza kuoga akakuja akamwambia mama nimeoga you know you, ca- you know nothing before the eyes of eye opener kuna watu ukifika mikono ni mwao you know nothing you don't talk you listen my generation is one of generation ya mbao ni ICT kisazi changu kinajua sana wanaitaka wanawakamba kama ni mtio ngu yani watu ambao wanajua sana hakuna kitu wajui na wajui chochote wanafikiria wanajua lakini hakuna kitu wanajua bwana yesu apewe sifa sana Haleluya. Maandiko nasema ya kwamba akamwambia enda ujipake parashi. Unajua kuna wanawake waogi mzuri na wacha maana siongelee mambo ya naongelea tu high opener. Na jipake marashi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Haleluya. Wadada bwana asifiwe. Nani ambaye uko naye katika maisha yako? Anaweza unaweza genuinely mwambia your life bila kujipendekeza bila unajua wanawake wengi mnaongelesha wanawake wa kushauri wakati unastaki bwana yako nini afanye lakini ujaye mwambia can you talk to me how i can become a better wife can you help in my house you need to have a mother every wife must have a mother because women have three major dimensions number one is a woman number two is a wife number three is a mother na the mother the one who teaches wives how to love their husbands na kama wewe ni mwanaume pia you need a mentor you need a father 
Because you are either a, a man, a husband, and a father. And every husband needs a father to mentor him. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana. Hai opena. Maandiko yanasema ya kwamba alimwekelea mikono akamwombea Paulo na makobe yakamtoka kwa macho. Macho yake yakafunguka. Ruth aliambiwa na Naomi, enda ujipake marasi, akajipaka marasi, akamwambia keti pale. Akamwambia nataka ushike njia mpaka kwa Mboazi. Uende umwangalie mahali ameketi na asikuone. Ungoje akule na akunywe. Hey! Alafu utamjie mahali ameenda kulala. <tuh> Ungoje mpaka usiku wa manane. Uende umfunue uingie katikati ya miguu ulale. Usifanye chochote, ulale. Haleluya. Eh. Hey! Padada wengi mjaolewa, kiburi ile uko nayo. Kiburi ile uko nayo. Wengine mnangangana kwa ndoa, kiburi. Kiburi wewe ukasikia mzee yako akiongea wewe ndio unaongea sana akikuongelesha kaneno ushaka kaunta ushamwambia tu unafanyaje unafanyaje eh wewe hmm. gazendi au tabia bwana sifie sana get a matter a high opener haleluya kwa hivyo unahitaji mtu akukufungua macho Wanaume wengi wame fail in life. They are great failures because in their life they lack this kind of people in life who can show them the path by which they should go. Wewe huduma imekwama na bado unasema unajua. Tafuta baba akushauri akwambie kijana kazi ya Mungu ifanywe hivi. Haleluya. Tafuta mtu akwambie biashara inafanywa hivi, wateja wanaongeleshwa hivi. I open. Tafuta mtu aketi chini na wewe akuongeleshe. Juzi niliambia watu hapa tupo kwa tukiwaambia watu, nikakwambia watu wengine wanahitaji life coach. Mtu ambaye atawafungua macho, awaeleze hii dunia tunaishi vile inaendelea. Kuna watu ambao they don't have any idea of what is happening in the world. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana. I open. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana. Haleluya. Daudi alikuta kajamaa kamoja njiani, kamelemewa, kameachwa, kanasikia kukufa, akakapatia chakula, akakauliza, "Wa watu wameenda aji, Kao ndio kalimweleza, tumeimba mahali fulani na fulani na fulani na oh, watu wameenda hivi. Tuende nikupeleke utawashika leo." How did he get to help? Ha, that man Unajua kuna watu na dharau lakini wako na ushauri mkubwa sana kwako. Kuna watu ambao unaonanga unakuliza nini wanaweza kuambia na wana pesa my friend. Money is not everything. There are people who carry wisdom and you need them to open your eyes. Number two, wanaitwa destiny connector. Watu ambao wakukuunganisha kitema matendo wa mitume kifungu cha 11 mstari 25. Maandiko unasema naye Barnabas akaenda kumchukua Paulo, akasikia ile injili anaohubiri, akamwambia Paulo hizo kuhubiri kwa hiki kijiji, alimchukua, akamuleta Antioch katikati ya mitume. If you land at the destiny helper, you die a village champion. Hallelujah. If you lack a destiny helper, you die nobody. I pray for somebody in the name of Jesus Christ that you a helper will locate you today and pick you from nonentity and bless you to somewhere where you will become somebody by fire. Shout hallelujah if I'm talking to you. Kuna watu ambao ni waimbaji wazuri lakini walikosa mtu wa kuwatoa kwa kijiji. Kuna watu ambao wako na talents, wako na gifting lakini walikosa watu wa kuwaunganisha na wale watu wanaohitaji. There is somebody looking for you. There is somebody you are looking for. That for you to be connected to the one you are looking for and the one looking for you, you need the destiny connector. Hallelujah. Kama Paulo angekutana na Barnabas, angeendelea kuwa mhubiri mkubwa katika kijiji. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana. Hallelujah. 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 Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana. Where are you today? Who is helping you? Unahitaji destiny connector. 
akusaidie akuintroduce mahali ambapo maisha yako haitabaki vile wanasema ya kwamba TDJs alikuwa na ubiri kanisa kidogo ya washirika 20 for almost mia ine, kwa miaka mia, mia, miaka 20 mpaka siku moja Carton Pearson akamwalika kaubiri kule Texas na alipomwalika kaubiri aka, mwaka uliofuata akaweka clip ya TD Jackson akichapa injili kama advert ya the next national conference Paul Crouch akaiona ile clip wakati Paul Crouch aliona akamwita Carton Pearson akamuliza who is this young man akamwambia this young man from from another city uh, is called TD Jackson akasema i want to meet him wakati Paul Crouch alikutana the late Paul Crouch alikutana na TD Jackson alimwambia nimempatia free air time hapo ndipo TD Jackson akakuwa the man you know you need a destiny connector somebody to pick you from your village and bring you to the city i will need to come and teach you how to live with great men maana some of you have not known how to live with men that are going to help you praise the name of the living god kuna watu unafuata polepole pole kwa miaka mbili, tatu, ina, tano, sita, saba. Lakini wale watu shadi san, hawa watu ambao kuna makusudi ya Mungu. Wale watu wakati utafika na Mungu atawatumia, watakutoa mahali huko. Biblia inasema ya kwamba wakati Yosefu ameekwa jela, pale jela kuna watu aliyowapata pale. Na wale watu waliota ndoto na aliwafunulia ndoto zao. Na maandiko yanasema ya kwamba walienda ikulu na siku moja mfalme aliota ndoto. Na wakamwambia, kuna jamaa mmoja kule jela." Ali tafsiri ndoto zetu wale watu walimuunganisha Yusufu na mfalme na vile ndivyo maisha ya Yusufu ilinuliwa Salimia mtu mwambie wacha kubeba watu hivyo hivyo hata kama wako jela wanaweza kukusaidia watatoka jela mbele yako kuna watu watatoka jela mbele yako na utawahitaji mpendwa mtazamaji wangu wanaitwa destiny helpers watu ambao destiny connectors Watu ambao watakusaidia, watu ambao wata, Mungu amewaweka wahusika kwa maisha yako. Biblia inasema ya kwamba na wakati ndugu za Yusufu walipofika Misri, walimuita Yusufu, wakamwambia tafadhali, tunaona baba yetu ako karibu kukufa. Tulikuwa tunaomba tafadhali usitulipishie kisasi. Tunajua tulifanya vibaya. Maandiko inasema ya kwamba naye Yusufu akawaambia ndugu zake, ninajua mlifanya hivyo, lakini ni Mungu alinituma huku ni hifadhi atima zetu you need to identify to locate the men that god has put in place to preserve your destiny kuna watu mungu ameweka wahifadhi atima yako zaipa luskipa talakada may this kind of man locate you by fire i say may this kind of man locate you by fire i say may this kind of man locate you by fire may your destiny connect azizo ketandeko bararas Batela sova laki amitos ke pondi kakabi zovela da rabakando baboska pa zovela rakoska pando bagadia Where are you now? Uko wapi? Kuna waimbaji walio na sauti nzuri. Lakini walienda kanisa wakaona ni ndogo. Wakakosa kutulia pale. Kumbe ule mchungaji ndiye Bwana alikuwa ameweka amutumie. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wakati anaalikwa mkutano mmoja mkubwa aende aseme my daughter my son aimbe wimbo mmoja kabla nianze kuhubiri Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana Alafu pale kuwa na explosion kuwa na explosion watu waseme wow tutataka ukuje kuimba the next worship night nataka uje kuimba the next conference nataka ukuje kuimba mkutano wangu oh na huduma yako inainukia kutoka pale pale ndipo watu wanakujua how did you know somebody connected you everywhere i want you know that everywhere you have gone hakuna mahali ulipata accidentally god used another person to introduce you there it takes men to introduce men it takes men to introduce men big doors move on small inches you need to have this in your mind you need to understand this and keep it Praise the name of a living God brothers and sisters for help us you need in life i've said number one or number one is a eye opener number two nimesema ya kwamba ni destiny connector alimtoa paul kutoka kwa kijiji moja bwana sifiki naitwa tolsas naitwa tolsas yes akamuleta antioch 
Na hapo ndipo explosion ya ministry ya apostle Paul ilianzia. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kuna watu usipokutana na wao utakufa village champion. Kuna watu usipokutana na wao utakufa with all the deposit in you. Kuna watu usipokutana na wao kile Mungu alikuambia ufanye au utafanya. Ninakuambia kusiku ya leo Bwana akusema number four, quickly in the name of Jesus Christ wanaitwa the intercessors. Kuna watu wakiomba Mungu anasikia anga. Azuli ya bakaisa vela kada. Etoski pala kaku. Zike pitoski balia kabagande. Kuna watu wakikuombea kuna kitu atendeka na kuna watu wakisema enda nyumbani Mungu ajibu maombi yako hiyo kesi ni finished. Na usipokuwa na this kind of people in your life, people who labor in prayer, my friend, demons will kill you, poverty will kill you, life will suffocate and scatter you. Kuna watu unahitaji katika maisha yako, watu ambao they are called intercessors, they are called men of stature, they are called men when they call God he hears. Kuna watu wanaombanga na kuna watu wanaomba. Kuna watu watakuombea na kuna kitu yatendeka. Let me give you a testimony. Bwana sifia sana. Mama moja nilikuwa naishi kwa hoteli yao. Walikuwa wamenipea hoteli yao nikienda huko na kaa huko. Bure. Nisilipi. Wananipigia chai mzuri kwa sababu ya mafuta. Haleluya. Shaka pa 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 pa. Raka ta 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 ta. Zoka bagali ya masko baki atelaze. Huyu mama alikuwa an attendant alikuwa ga hospitality wananioshea manguo wanapiga pasi na bwana yake alikuwa mlevi bwana yake alikuwa mlevi kwa miaka mikuu na alikuwa mlevi chakari maisha yake imekuwa useless basi marafiki zake wakamwambia siwaambie bishop kuhusu bwana yako na atamuombea akasema yeye anaweza kuomba na ataombea hiyo kiburi uko nayo uachane nayo hiyo kiburi uko nayo uachane nayo basi ule mama mwaka ukaisha Mwaka wa pili akaona maombi yake ipenye siku moja akanipigia simu. Akanambia skofu naomba uniombe. <coughs> Mzee wangu amekuwa mlevi. Nikamwambia usijali nitakapokuwa nikihubiri Thursday kwa redio nitakamata ye kwa jina la Yesu na nitamtoa kwa hiyo jela. Walikuwa mzee amekunywa pombe mpaka mama ameona mzee ni useless ameita polisi amemshika yake ameka ye jela. That's how serious it was. Bwana sifiwe sana mtazamaji wangu. Yesu ni bwana. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Usijali nitakuja kukufundisha Thursday how to live with men of honor. Bwana sifiwe sana. I, 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 I hope that I'll be able to do it. Bwana atanisaidia nisipo nitaangalia wakati nitakuja kufundisha how to honor men because kuishi na watu wakubwa. A uh, ule mama <coughs> nika siku hiyo nikaomba ilikuwa Thursday nikaomba zogi bala iko paskopo kuna watu wanaombanga in tanks in capital letters zalo kaki paskopa kwata pa 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 zobe kaka riko paskopa wakiomba your life will never be the same again ule mzee friday akalala ndani saturday mama akaona wacha yule mzee niende sema achi akaenda akasema mzee achiliwe aliposema mzee achiliwe mzee alitoka moja kwa moja mpaka kwa kanisa ya deliverance church ya hiyo town akaenda akamwambia pastor mimi nataka kuokoka na ule mzee aliokoka aliacha pombe mpaka wa leo hajawahi kunywa pombe kuna watu wakiombea maisha yako haitabaki vile bwana Yesu atoe sifa sana haleluya nikupe tu shuhuda wa pili ah uh, Siku moja wale mnajua ororobat wa ubiri wale wale watu mnapenda Mungu mnajua wa ubiri maana ni baba zetu wa imani. Ororobat alikuwa na deni ya milioni dola saba. dola milioni saba kule Marekani za shirika, serikali ya ushuru ya kanisa yake. Na wakati moja wakati moja akakuwa kwamba atachotoa. Watakuja wachote kila kitu waende nacho. Na inaposema ni ya kwamba ndivi na ya kwamba Benini alikuwa amemwalika our late Father in the Lord, the God's general, Benson in Daosa, to come and preach in his ministry. So, uh, ben, Benini alikuwa bado, amenda um, yu mkutano, wanaombea in Daosa. Kabala, Gada, Zela, alikuwa kwa potu wanaomba hapo, pesa ipatikana. Wanaomba pesa ipatikana. Wako hapo, kila mtu wako prayer. 
Robert alikuwa mhubiri mkubwa sana alikufa miaka kidogo alikuwa anga na ubiri na akina Tia Losborn alikuwa na ubiri na akina Renard Bonke au na akina Maurice Rulo hiyo ndio team team ya generous lakini alikuwa na deni ya milioni saba dola basi uh, indaosa akalant to America na akaenda kwa Benin akaambua Benin wako kwa Oro Robert akaenda huko akasema pelekwa akaenda akaenda alipofika wakamwambia hapa tuko na itaji very sensitive a uh, kesho auctionia wanakuja kubeba kila kitu hapa kwa Oro Robert tusipo lipa milioni saba waliokuwa pale wanasema kwamba indaosa alikuwa na vazi zile kaju za Nigeria alisika akairua na akaanza ku roll akasema angels angels prepare the way reverend benson in the house is coming ai there are people pray kaloski faleka pa zovila bakan zego barakoska pande kakakoska pa zelo teli zevia pakoska ba zako paratu kakakia paskope lati azvon di baka i pray for you in jesus name let your prayer be answered alipoamka baada ya masaa matatu aliyesema sema sema kidogo wewe mzee kulikuwa na mzee hapo anaomba anambia wewe mzee jana ulipokea dola milioni mia moja. kweli si kwa asema ndio kimbia nyumbani tuletee tithe kumi. akakimbia nyumbani akaleta milioni kumi. dola wakatukua saba akaambia ororoba chukua saba enda ulipe au your kan government endelea na tatu. hii jambo lilitatuliwa haji kulikuwa na mtu ambaye akiomba Mungu anasikia. We, sio watu wote wakiomba waki Mungu anasikia. Mm. 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 Kumbuka maandiko yanasema the vivid prayer of a righteous man prevailed. You need people in your life ambao wakiomba Mungu anasikia. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana. Haleluya. Sijui kama uko na watu katika maisha. Watu ambao wakiomba ukiwapea your prayer item unajua hiyo mata is settled bwana sifia sana haleluya haleluya bwana sifia so you need men when they speak in utterance in your life god answers haleluya number four. tunamalizia number four. ah watu nawaita the kingdom ama life financials watu ambao wanatoa watu kwa msalaba yani wale watu ambao ni financial helpers ni watu ambao wanasaidia na utilities wanasaidia na vitu John, cha, John chapter 19 verse number 38 maandiko nasema ya kwamba naye Yusuf alimadhia akaondoka akaenda kwa Pilato akamwambia nipewe mwili wa Yesu na akapewa mwili wa Yesu unajua kuna Yusuf wa tatu maisha ya huduma neema zote zimeaminiwa mtu anaitwa Yusuf wakati kule Misri atima ya Israeli iliaminiwa Joseph mtoto wa Yakobo wakati Yesu alipokuwa anakuja aliaminiwa mtu anaitwa Joseph na wakati Yesu alipokufa mwili wa Yusuf wa Yesu uliaminiwa Yusuf na mwili wa Yusuf Yesu Yusuf ndiye alienda akaitisha mwili na akatolewa mwili wa Yesu kwa msalaba kuna watu umaskini mewapigia kwa msalaba kuna watu poverty mewapigia kwa msalaba kuna wachungaji shida imepigilia huruma kwa, kwa msalaba kuna watu biashara zenu asina Yusuf ma Yusuf akifika kwa biashara yako ananunua mnalipa bill zote mnalipa na alifanya shopping na kuombea pokea kaina kaenda ya watu katika jasho waache kuteseka waache kupitia shida pokea watu ambao watasaidia maisha yako so when you begin to pray for help us unaambia Mungu nipatie watu ambao watasaidia kuna mtu akikuja atoe tithe kwa kanisa mtanunua shamba kuna mtu akikuja tu aseme eh, mulisema nisikia mkusema huko na shida eh, ni pesa ngapi asiye eh, kuna shida nilipoanza huduma nilipoanza huduma Uduma yangu usikuwa na vyombo nilikuwa na kupewa redio na watu na microphone nilikuwa na kuonesha 300 shillings na hawa watu waliokuwa na nikondisha hizi vitu nilikuwa nikuandisha siku ya kwanza na ya pili siku ya tatu kulikuja jamaa mmoja aliyekuwa police officer akaniuliza ukipata vitu naweza weka wapi nikamwonyesha ukipata redio vyombo unaweza weka wapi basi akaniambia kwa na viti 20 ako na speaker ako na amplifier na ako na microphone mbili ule mtu alinitoa kwa msalaba 
Niliacha kukomboa viti, niliacha kukomboa vyombo kutoka SJ kukomboa vyombo. Bwana akutumia watu ambao watakutoa kwa msalaba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Inua mikono yako nikapate kuomba na wewe na Mungu atakusaidia. Usipopata helpers utakaa kwa shida my brother. Utakufa kwa matatizo. Maisha yako itakuwa maisha magumu. Maisha yako itakuwa maisha ya shida. Maisha yako itakuwa maisha ya matatizo. Lakini ukipata this kind of theopas, watatoa macho yako ngisa, watatoa ujinga kwa kichwa chako, utaanza kuona vizuri. Hawa watu watakuunganisha na watu ambao unahitaji na watakuunganisha kule unahitajika. Hawa watu ambao watakuombea mapepo na shida sitaachana na wewe na watu wengine wataleta msaada kwako. Kuna watu ambao unahitaji msaada. Andithi na peanwa na Deboye. Nasema miaka ile walikuwa na shida. Na walikuwa wamekaa sana wajakula na baba yao. Basi walikuwa wameomba tu na walikuwa wameomba ukakuja mtu. Ule mtu aliyekuja akawaletea chakula. Wao wakachukua maana walikuwa na njaa wakaimeza mesa. Baada ya muda kidogo, mwe mtu akasema, "Eh, hiyo chakula iko ya hapa, mbia tushakula." <laughs> na kuombea katika jina la Yesu. Bwana akutane na hitaji yako. Bwana akutane na hitaji yako. Bwana akutumie wale watu unahitaji. My brother usipopata watu in your life. Usipopata this kind of man. Kuna watu anakikuja kwa maisha yako. Maisha yako itawahi baki vile. Hivi tulivyo ni watu Mungu ametumia. Hivi tulivyo ni watu Mungu ametumia. Ukiona jambo limeinuka hata kambuni imekuwa kubwa. Kuna watu Mungu ametumia kuwa customer. Kuna watu Mungu ametumia wakasaidia management ile kambuni. Ukiona huduma imesimama. Kuna watu Mungu ametumia wakasimama na ile huduma. Ukiona familia imeendelea vizuri na mshauri anasaidia ile familia ne, Mungu akusaidie majini yangu kama ninavyosema ni Bishop Gabriel Wisdom wa Shilo Worship Ministry Nairobi karibu pale kanisani usikie neno la Bwana maisha yako haitabaki vile ninabeba neema ya kubandilisha maisha hakuna mtu anakutana na maisha yangu na anabaki vile maana nilikutana na Mungu na Mungu akanibandilisha na akaweka vitu ndani ya maisha yangu oh my god let this grace locate you greatly wale mnapiga simu Bwana wabariki kuna watu wanapiga simu kuna watu wanaandika messages na wale mna nataka kuniona na patikananga kwa ofisi yangu kila siku kuanzia Tuesday kuanzia saa tano kwa sababu asubuhi yote niko maombi saa tano ndio napatikana kwa ofisi a uh, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday na Friday niko kwa ofisi lakini piga simu ndio usinikose ofisi yangu ukiangalia kwa Google Map ukiandika Shilo Worship itakuleta kwa kanisa itakuleta ukiwa unakuja na matatu ukikoa town unapanda gari 2930 unaambia uokeke hapo hapo bonus ama kuweke hapo so, njia ya kwenda social hall ukiangalia ukirudi nyumba mita mita hamsini kanisa liko pale ama ukishuka hapo uliza watu wa pikipiki kanisa la shilo watakuonyesha na kidole na utakuwa umefika na bwana wa amani atakubariki na tutaweza kuhudumia maisha yako kama uko baba dogo ndandora kariobangi githurai nairobi area yote karen lavington watu wanakuja pale na wanatembelewa na mungu maisha yake inabandika si bwana wabariki na mwe na usiku mwema acha nikuombea baba naombea mtazamaji nimeshiriki neno lako na yeye na naomba katika jina la Yesu maisha yake isibaki vile ninaachilia the power of the holy spirit na naachilia the grace and the favor of god to attract all the kind of people they need let there be power for transforming life let there be grace for changing lives let there be anointing in the name of Jesus Christ my lord and my god i bless you my lord and my god i honor you you are good and you are great you are mighty and you are wonderful you reign from everlasting to everlasting your name is Yahweh your name is Alpha Omega blessed be your name glorified be your visit them in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who have need, meet them at the point of your need. Oh God, show them mercy. Wale wanataka kuja kanisani waelekeze. Na ni katika jina kula Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kushukuru. Bwana wabariki. Mwana usiku mwema ukitaka kunipigia simu kuniongelesha namba yangu ndio hii. God bless you in Jesus name. Back next Thursday, grace be with you. We you bless the family. Gracias.